Hey guys, Tim Man here. Welcome to my easy cooking channel. I just caught this 23 inch striped bass in the Petaluma River, which is right near my house. And it's the biggest one I ever caught, so I'm pretty excited. So um, I'm going to go uh, fillet them and uh, put them in the fridge overnight, and then uh, tomorrow we'll cook them up. Look at the beautiful fillets I got off of that striper. That's nice. I think my wife and I can split one of those for for a meal. And um, after I filleted that, I uh, soaked them in some salt water, put them in the fridge overnight in some salt water. I do that with all the fish I catch. I think it gives it a little fresher, cleaner taste. This is only the second keeper size striped bass I've ever caught because they have to be 18 inches to keep. Um, so I'm kind of excited, but I rinsed that fillet off, but look how nice that is. Now I'm going to um, coat it with some cornmeal and just fry it. So I don't dip these in anything. All I do is just sprinkle the cornmeal on both sides of it like that. And just try to you know, get a nice coating of it on there. Then we'll put it in the frying pan. Maybe put a little salt and pepper on it. So I put just a little bit of canola oil in my cast iron skillet here. And I'm just cooking these over kind of a medium heat. A little bit of salt in there. I'll leave the pepper off because my wife doesn't like pepper. But um, I let them cook for about five minutes or so on that side, and then we'll flip them over. Okay, it's been about five minutes or so. Let's see if we can flip these babies over now. They don't stick to the pan too bad. There we are. Looks pretty nice. Sticking a little bit. There we go, we got it. There we are. And just let them cook probably five minutes or so on that side. Okay, these are looking good. Looks like it's nice and flaky. It's been about 10 minutes. I'm just gonna shut that off right there. And then we'll grab a plate and give that fish a try. Okay, I'm excited to taste this. My wife's not a big fish eater, but she inhaled her piece. She said it was really good, so I'm excited to try it here myself. Wow, delicious. If you've never had striped bass, striped bass is really good. Man, that is excellent. Hopefully I can catch some more like that. Thank you for watching, you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.